Welcome back, everybody. As temperatures rise with the unofficial start of summer, our next guest has a high-tech way of keeping cool. Let's bring in Phenonic CEO Tony Addy. Uh, Tony, I would say that it's not rocket science to come up with a new way of cooling things, but you are actually a former scientist with NASA's Jet Propulsion Lab. So yes. explain this to us. How does it work? What's well, the science behind through it? Through the magic of semiconductor innovation that first gave us the transistor, the solar panel, and the LED light, those are all elegant examples where semiconductor innovation took on an incumbent and gave you a new innovative technology and approach. Yet with cooling and refrigeration, we've been stuck in the past where compressors and fans have dominated cooling for more than a century. Phononic is innovating a way where semiconductor chips can now drive the next wave of cooling and refrigeration, displacing the compressor heat sinker fan. You've got something here that's a box. This is a new one that's right here on set with us. Yes. Guys, if you could take a picture of this. I, I don't see any connected wires, None. anything along those. I don't hear anything. So how so we're, well, we're is, passionate about, about refrigeration and freezing. And when you think of this box and its merchandising application, typically, Open it up. What's it look like inside? typically refrigeration and freezing has been relegated to the back of the store. Mm -hmm. So I bought breakfast. Uh, <laughs> so these are all cold all and there's, it's these not, are all frozen. Is it plugged in? It is plugged in. Uh, and in one platform, you, Becky, huh? you have, depending on the configuration, you can freeze, refrigerate, or even heat, which gives retailers tremendous flexibility, not just in what they do, but where it's placed in the retail format. What, but what so what, what, if I'm a retailer, I can place it somewhere differently. How much does something like this cost? How so it depends, it? depends on the model. For the major consumer product brands, so for the major... <laughs> Sorry, she wants more. So the, Here, the, go. The, I'm okay, I'm good. There's, there's two different techniques that we follow. For the major consumer product brands that have budgets for capital equipment, uh -huh. right. we do an ROI-based model based on the inventory and the placement in the store with a payback period built in. But what's really exciting for both the retailer and the smaller brands, which don't have those CapEx budgets but struggle to differentiate themselves against the giants, we can do a rental or a lease agreement such that based on the revenue generated by the unit, we share in that margin and it gives them placement in the retailer. And the, but this is all being used right now in the retail environment. Not all. We have, we have products in optical components where we're cooling fiber optic cables, hospitals and clinics where we're refrigerating and freezing oh. drugs in, in uh, pharmaceuticals, and now we're launching into the food and beverage will segment there with be retailers. A, a, when I say, will there be a retail, retail version of this? Meaning, will my, I, I guess I, we have a sub-zero refrigerator in our home. Will we be in your home? At yes. some point, we will. And, and what we've had to do as, as a disruptive technology is, through full product innovation, demonstrate the capability of the unit vis-a-vis -vis the incumbent. Why is where this we're so much better than the fan? Model? Well, where we're ultimately headed is phononic inside, where we can use our chips in someone else's cabinet. The value proposition depends on the user, yeah. but you have a tremendous space utilization because you get rid of the compressor. Uh. It's energy efficient, completely sustainable. We have no toxic or flammable refrigerant. There's no noise vibration. In the case of a retail setting, you could build perishable goods around what's it the, without damaging What's them. the difference in terms of cost for this versus so a we, comparable with, with many old, the, old, you know, with, with many of the markets version. that we're in, we price at parity with the compressor incumbents that are there despite significant value. <laughs> so we leverage high volume semiconductor best practices used throughout the semiconductor world and most of the product integration is done with off the shelf components. Will it, over time, we, you think you'll be able to get the price of this even lower than the, the old school? That's where the semiconductor innovation comes into play, yes. And we're a global company that are delivering products all around the world that drives that volume. What's the maintenance on it, if any? None. There's not much that can break. So when you think of the retail environment, there's an OPEX savings back to the value. You don't have to restock the equipment as frequently because you have more space to play with. And you can put this at the point of sale, which is what consumers are asking us they want to experience when they come into the store. That's the highest margin real estate in a retail environment. Tony, thank you so much for coming in. It's good thank to see you. Thank you for having us. It's very cool. Very, very cool.